What's up guys, welcome back for another impressive vlog. So, we are at SEMA 2019. As you guys can see, the GT is set up at the Aero Suns booth. Shout out to them for having us. We're gonna be boothing with this Ferrari. Another, the 458 that was in a previous vlog and then the Huracan as well. Right now we're trying to position the cars and find out where exactly we want them. And then once that's fully set up, I'll show you guys what the final booth looks like. But for now, we're just gonna run around and uh, check out everything else that's being set up. All right, so I just got to the Toyo Tread Pass. We have a couple cars here, uh, Button Builds cars here, and then Jake Ray's car is here. You guys remember Button Builds car got that custom wrap. It's right here. Check that out. You guys have seen this before, but again, one last look. Super stoked on how the graphics came out. Shout out to our graphics team for that. And then shout out to our wrap team for being able to make it look perfect by lining up all those lines. And then we have Jake Ray's car here as well. As you guys can see the final product, the airbrushing that we did looks super nice as well. You can see that. So both these cars will be here. So both those cars we did, I'll show you guys a couple more of the cars that are here because there's some pretty wild builds. Take a break for we're putting on the final decals for the Huracan, the 458, and then our car. Just some finishing touches and then we're gonna go ahead and polish the cars as well. And then we should be set. That'll wrap up our setup and tomorrow starts the actual show. All right, so we are now on the first day of the show. Starting off our day at our booth. All the cars have been getting a lot of attention. The GT especially. If it's it being the first one in the States, of course, not too many people have seen this. But overall, our uh, all three or all four of the cars that we have here are getting really really good attention a lot of people are stopping and taking pictures which is exactly what we wanted you guys have already seen enough of these cars we're gonna head on over to the toyo tread pass and then we'll show you the couple cars that we have there so actually just a few booths over from us we have anthony's m2 as you guys saw this car has been all over our instagram page and it's wrapped in the new enos tech midnight purple so right in front of the toyo tread pass we have this pretty cool sylvia s13 with a pandem kit this is stupid clean A couple more of the cool cars outside of Toyo Tread Pass. We have Crispy's Subi. Check out the paint on this thing. Look at that sparkle. Super sick. And then the engine bay too is super clean. Going down the row. We have Mars 6 Series. This thing just got done a couple days before SEMA. Uh, in the past, we actually wrapped his M5, but he just built this thing and it's super sick. It's the first one actually in the States. And then my favorite out here is this Evo. Check this thing out, full Varus Evo. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I love the stance on it. And we'll head back into the Toyo Tread Pass. I showed you guys the cars that we did, but I haven't shown you the other cars that are in there. So right next to Jay Cray's car, we have this beautiful Z, a personal favorite of mine because I actually own a 240 myself and this thing is done perfectly. It's Overall, the car is spotless, love it. And then right next to it, we have a slant nose Porsche. This thing is absolutely nuts, the kit on it. The wheels actually, Brixton Forge, are super sick. On all, this kit is super aggressive and I love the gray and pink uh, color scheme. Let's take one last look at that. And then directly across from that, we have this Boss RX-7. Very well put together. Look at these twin turbos, absolutely massive. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this, the Toyo Tread Pass. We are now gonna move on to the Central Hall. Show you guys some of the cool cars that are in there. There's actually another wide body GT in there. Check it out. Rumor has it's not as good as ours, but we'll check it out. So if you've never been to SEMA, let me just tell you, it is absolutely massive. 
each hall is well, feels like miles long. Like it just spreads forever and ever. And on top of that, there's a second story to every building, and then the whole outside area is covered in stuff as well. <laughs> so yeah, I've been walking around the show for like two days now, and I haven't even seen 50% of it. So this thing definitely caught my eye. We are at the Garrett booth right now, so you guys can see. And check out this turbo setup on this Lambo. Actually, this is the LS Lambo. I just realized that. Yeah, it's got a six speed in it. Car was uh, built by BS for Build. He put a twin turbo LS motor inside a Huracan, as you guys just saw. Shout out to him for being able to pull that off. So one of the running jokes about SEMA is that it's just full of Supras this year. So we're gonna keep count of how many we can actually find. So this is number one. Okay, I literally walked like 15 feet from when we saw the first Supra, and I just found like 40 of them. So we have two, number three, number four, Number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, oh, number nine, number ten, number eleven. Number twelve. All right, so I've been walking around the hall for like 20 minutes and I finally found the other GT. Let's check it out, here it is. So this kit isn't as aggressive, and the green and red color combo kind of, I don't know, it's not doing it for me, and the fitment is eh, so I think we take home best GT. <laughs> so like I was saying, this place is absolutely massive, and I found the perfect spot to show you guys just how big this place actually is and how many people are here. Check that out. You really need the whole week to be able to see everything that's here. So we're going to keep going. What's up? Good, good to see you. So we keep walking around and keep checking out all the cool shit. Number 13. All right, so I'm just about done with this haul, but before we leave, check out this M1. It's everything is period correct on it. Beautiful car, straight race car. Check that out. A lot of amazing cars. This place is so big, it's easy to miss a lot of them. Right now we're headed outside and uh, we'll check out what's out here. So right outside Central Hall is actually Buttonbilt's other car. If you guys remember we did the wrap on this and it's on this slam truck pretty cool little setup here so yeah. number 14 right here we love this check this thing out all the different colors on it then you got the bike up top to match it then we got another Silvio right here and a Ferrari over there like I said, ton of amazing cars here and we're just barely scratching the surface. Right now, they're actually having some Raptors jump some stuff. So they've been having drift cars and trucks on this course all day long. Check this out. Bunch of cool events and stuff happening here. Like I said, there's just so much going on that you possibly can't catch everything in first or in just one day. We head over to the dub booth. We have one more car there that we did. Finally made it to the dub booth after walking for quite a bit. Like I was saying, we have a Liberty Walk Aventador here. This is wrapped in the all new Enos Tech. Midnight gold color, as you guys can see. It's a super nice color. There's also some other really cool cars, such as Liberty Walk 458, Liberty Walk Huracan, Liberty Walk GTR. Check out this turbo setup on this Lambo right here. Absolutely nuts. The burning on the titanium is literally perfect. So we're out here by the Ray's booth right now and they have a pretty cool selection of cars you guys can see. A Pollux Mustang, another Supra, I think that puts us at 15, 14 or 15. A Tesla Model 3, full Varus GTR, right next to a full Varus STI. And then they have some more cars outside of the booth, right here in the hallway. Got a Varus M4, Varus Evo, and a Tacoma. So I've stumbled upon what looks like a outside car show type of thing. 
as you guys can see, there's just a bunch of different type of builds out here. It's pretty cool. There's a good amount of cars here too. Take a moment to walk around this and see what's out here. I honestly had no idea that this was even a thing or this area existed, so. Check out this FD with this crazy body kit on it. I'm gonna see tons of more Check that thing out. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest. I've been walking around for like the past like 30 minutes and I am totally lost. I have no idea where I am. I don't know what hall this is. So uh, come along on the trip with me. Oh, wait, I think it's the outside. It's the outside, okay, I know where I am now. <laughs> we'll head back outside real quick. This hall didn't have too much in it. It was more of like restoration, painting supplies, detailing supplies, things like that. So not too many cars, more products being shown off there. Um, but we are back outside and we can finish up everything. Outside has a pretty cool lineup of different types of cars. You literally have everything from extremely lifted trucks to slammed RAV4s right next to NSXs and Jeeps. That's personally been my favorite thing about SEMA is that anything and everything goes. As long as it's properly done and you can see that somebody put time and effort into a build, it, it's probably here. Pandem E30 right here. Beautiful. And of course, as you guys just saw, they have drifting outside too. That's pretty much gonna wrap up the outside for SEMA. We're now gonna head back to our booth, take one good look at all our cars, and that'll wrap up our SEMA vlog. Real quick, check this out. This is sitting at the front of our hall is a uh, Aventador, as you guys can see, but check out this crazy carbon pattern on it. I've never seen that before. It's definitely super sick. One of three, I'm guessing. As you guys saw, we have a Liberty Walk Huracan at our booth, as well as at the Dub booth. I just found another one at the Rohana booth. I really like the white on it. It makes it look super clean on some nice black lip, bronze face wheels. I really love this new Liberty Walk kit for the Huracans. It's so aggressive and it looks so nice. Just check that out. Actually on the other side, they're rocking all red wheels. I like the bronze and the black more, but that still looks really sick. Just a couple of uh, booths over from us. We had this Rally 911. There's another one kind of like this in the Toyo Tread Pass. If you guys remember a white one? I'm actually a really big fan of these in Rally style. It's pretty cool. All right, so we finally made it back to the booth after what seems like hours of walking. I just want to take this moment to thank Aerosons again for having us at their booth. It means a lot. Very nice working with them. And uh, yeah, shout out to everyone who helped us complete every build along the way. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog.